What is up people? So have you heard of this channel called Kirti History? A right wing channel that tries to portray history with narratives that try to portray a Hindu superiority in history. And obviously she is uh, really popular with a lot of right wing channels. Um, she's done collabs with a few also. And uh, here I'm gonna react to a video where she is talking about Shushita. Uh, so let's watch it and let's see what she says. Now, me personally, uh, I used to really appreciate Shushita because I also got fed into those narratives. You can watch my old Sadhguru video for what I'm saying. But since then, I've had the opportunity to interact with a lot of experts who actually studied these books, bought these books and read them and studied them to gain a deeper understanding of all these things. A lot of things that are claimed about the book are a little too exaggerated. So let's watch the video. I have not watched the whole video. I watched like the first 10% of it and I could see that there were a lot of problems in the video. So let's look at it and uh, comment on uh, the claim she makes in the video. And at the same time, let's play spot the bullshit. All right, are we ready? Have you ever heard of Seshushruta? Even if you have, I'm sure you must have known him as an ancient plastic surgeon. It's sad to see him reduced to this. There is much more to Seshushruta than just being a plastic surgeon. Imagine thousands of years ago when the world of medicine never even thought about doing switches. This man sitting in Kasi figured out how body anatomy works, invented multiple surgeries. Man, we should talk about this. But see, uh, Shushita having done sutures is a legit claim as far as I can tell. Uh, back in those days, there were a lot of animal wounds and injuries, animal bites and wars. People got a lot of wounds. So there were a lot of uh, skin conditions, wounds mainly, that he did actively, you know, do sutures, even plastic surgeries and all that stuff. But there's a claim being made here that we have to look at a little more deeply. This man sitting in Kasi figured out how body anatomy works, invented multiple... Here's the thing. <clears throat> invented multiple uh, surgical equipment. See, the thing about these surgical equipments is that there are pictures... See, how could people back in Shushita's times have made images and pictures of all these? These are all additions made to the modern version of the book that are added. See, look at how modern some of these tools look also. The best guess is that obviously there's every chance that Shushita actually invented this, but there is no mention of how these tools were developed or how they were used. There's no description of these tools. There is a possibility that these were in many ways copied from modern instruments or copied from uh, medical and surgical descriptions from other parts of the world, maybe from ancient books, maybe from modern books. And they were added to the modern versions of uh, Shushita Samhita and given these names and uh, attributed them to Shushita. I can in no way prove that they were not made by Shushita. But at the same time, the people who make these claims can in no way prove that they were made by Shushita. If you go by extraordinary claims that require extraordinary evidence, it's more likely that these tools were not made back then because obviously none of these diagrams were made back then. Uh, so it's more likely that they were the creative work of whoever translated and made those modern versions of, of the books available. It's their creation. That's what I make of all these. Trust me, this is a more rational way to look at all this than something extraordinary like all these modern tools were created by Shoshita back then when there is no written description of the tools, no elaboration on how they were developed, all these things. ...surgical equipments and save the lives of thousands of people. Don't you think he deserves to be known much more than just a plastic surgeon? What are the techniques he used? How did he figure out that? Let's see everything in detail. Approximately 2600 years ago, the Punya Bhumikashi witnessed a man who was about to change the world of medicine forever. What made him do so? What inspired him to realize the importance of surgery? It was a time when wars and bloodshed were a common thing. While seeing 
seeing the injured soldiers, he found his inspiration. This is all true and believable and these are not extraordinary claims. There were a lot of wars back then and there were a lot of wounds and injuries back then which I'm sure he did help with. But these are all skin wounds, skin conditions, surface level things. Modern doctors would practice their incision on dead bodies just like that Shushruta used dead bodies to analyze the anatomy of the human body. He would keep the dead body in water and let it decompose and as time passed he would dissect and study the structure of the human body's layer. Where are these images from? These are, there are drawings and images and all this. These were clearly from a modern time. The, it, it's not possible to have books with drawings in them back then. You know, there were European surgeons who would do the same things, but that happened around the Middle Ages, like 15th century and all these things. It's likely they had images like these, but Shushita, and I'm sure this is a Google image they got from one of those Middle Ages books from Europe. So you can't even tell the language from this. I don't think this is Sanskrit. This is not any Indian language. By layer. He emphasized that a surgeon should learn not only from books, but also from practical experience. As per the needs, he himself designed 121 surgical equipments based on the shapes of bird peaks and animal jaws. Some of his tools were so precise that they could dissect a single strand of hair. And he divided the surgical procedure into three stages. Now Can you please give me some uh, evidence for all these claims you're making? I'm gonna mark extraordinary claims with no evidence. And uh, even the surgical equipments, I would mark them as hindsight bias. And, and there's a lot of confirmation bias. There's a lot of rationalization. Yep, these are things I would mark. Number one, pre-operative preparation. Number two, the operation itself. And number three, post-operative care. This included preparing the patient, the tools and even surgical room. The patients were advised to be on fasting or on a light food diet. Alcohol was used for pain relief. And even anesthesia, antiseptic and sterile procedures were used by Sushruta. He also described 14 types of band. Show me, please show me evidence. It would be really helpful if people can understand that these are not your creative interpretations and these were actually there in the book. Bandages and stress the importance of cleaning the wound before switching to prevent infections. Look how systematically it was done. This is the culture which has been talking about the best way to sit, the best way to eat and even the best way to breathe. Look at where we are today. Everybody is suffering from some kind of disease. Okay, for the sake of argument, let's assume that he did do all those things and he did do uh, he did describe surgery sleep really well but extrapolating that to saying that uh, our culture described the best ways to sit eat best ways to breathe uh, we the culture was right that's an extrapolation from shushita so i'm going to mark hasty generalization one in five Indian women suffers from PZOD. Approximately 1,78,000 new cases are being diagnosed with breast cancer every single year. Almost everyone over 40 years has I diabetes think, now. I think this is a, a segue into her sponsor. Even youngsters, fit and healthy people are dying of heart attacks. And the medical inflation is 14%, which is so damn high. We are literally living one medical bill away from going bankrupt. That's why it's a sensible idea to car ourselves and our family with a health insurance. Policy Bazaar offers health insurance with up to 25% risk. Do you remember the story of Supanaka from Ramayana? When her nose was cut off by Lakshmana, King Ravana later had a surgeon reconstruct her nose. We all ignored it as mythology. But Shushruta, in his book Shushruta Samhita, describes a technique that's now named as plastic surgery. The only So it's called rhinoplasty and it was done by Shushruta where he took a flap of skin from the forehead and used that to reconstruct the nose. That is a legit claim, as far as I understand. Differences, he did not use any plastic for that. Instead, he used a live flesh from cheek, abdomen, foot. Nobody actually thinks plastic surgery is done using plastic, right? Why did she have to say that? That's like condescending to the audience. Head and thighs. He clearly explained how to repair nose and ear lobes using the nearby skin. In England, the first article on rhinoplasty appeared in 1794 when a British surgeon, Carly Leon Lucas, wrote about it. Even he mentioned. This is a legit claim. I've mentioned this in one of my videos, my video on Ayurveda on the main channel, 
first video on Ayurveda starts with this story how rhinoplasty from India went to England that this method is already known in India and unfamiliar to the British. After the third Anglo Mysore war in 1792, Tipper Sultan did a mass nasal mutilation to the British army soldiers. One bath in Bullock driver employed by the British was also mutilated in that. A year after this incident, a potter reconstructed his nose using the skin from the forehead and it was all recorded by the British. And we keep saying the British educated us. Education doesn't mean holding a degree certificate. An educated person should be a skilled one. I think we Bharatians were pretty good at it before the arrival of British. So plastic surgery, particularly rhinoplasty, has a long history in India and Sushruta explained a detailed procedure for this. He also described a form of cataract surgery where a curved needle is used to push the cataract aside and then the patient's eye will be sprinkled with breast milk and ghee. And let's remember the practice of cataract surgery. Breast milk and ghee? How is breast milk supposed to be sterile? Like we didn't have pasteurization back then. He was introduced to China only from India as per the Chinese records. Shushkuta used quite a few unusual but effective methods for surgical procedure. For example, in cases when there was a blockage in the intestine, he suggested bringing two ends of the intestines together using okay. black large ants to grab tightly with their claws. What? Ants? Use ants to pull the guts into place? Wait, what did she say? In cases when there was a blockage in the intestine, he suggested bringing two ends of the intestines together using black large ants to grab tightly with their claws. Then the ants' bodies with their heads tightly attached were cut off. Ants don't have claws? What did, what did she To grab mean? tightly with their claws. Then the ants' bodies with their heads tightly attached were cut off and the intestines were gently put back in place and stitched up. While this may sound cruel to us, it was an effective method back at that time. Not just ants. This is an extraordinary claim and without showing any evidence, I'm not gonna believe any of this. How can a small tiny ant pull an entire like part of the intestine? Doesn't make any sense. But show me evidence. I could be wrong. I will admit I'm wrong when you show me evidence. And he also used leeches to treat conditions like balls, tumors and similar diseases. Leeches were particularly used when surgery yeah, was not. Leeches were a thing back then. Uh, description of leeches is there in all humoral uh, theories of medicine. Ones from Europe, ones from Arabia. It's possible they had origins in India. Leeches aren't a healthy way of doing it. Uh, there was a reason um, this was this technique of doing it went away from medicine. Not an option. He described what kind of leeches to use and explained everything in detail. According to Sushruta, there were 12 types of leeches, but he recommended using only six of them for medical purposes. He even explained how to catch the leech, where to place them and how to feed them. Everything is explained. These are uh, uh, not extraordinary claims. So yeah, I will believe all these. And in detail. And would you believe if I say even in modern medicine, leeches are used for certain medical procedures. The Food and Drug Administration in the US has approved the use of leeches as a medical device for specific medical conditions. In a study... Let's look that up. Today they used in plastic surgery and other microsurgery. Are leeches used in modern medicine? Okay, this is something interesting. I wasn't aware of this. All right. Study conducted in Germany, leech therapy was found to be beneficial for patients with long-term knee pain. Shushruta recorded all his knowledge in detail in a form of Sanskrit text called Shushruta Samhita and this is being considered one of the three major pillars of Ayurveda. Not just plastic surgery, he did brain surgery, urinary okay, stone... Okay, brain surgery, no. There is, I know for a fact that there is no description of that in the books. Uh, kidney surgery, what is she talking about? Okay. Just think about this, okay? If brain surgery was done back then, can you imagine what exactly you can do with the brain with a couple of instruments to actually fix some condition? What, what was done? There was no description in any book. If she can show any piece of evidence, I'd be more than glad. But there was absolutely no visceral organ surgeries done. 
in Shushita Stan. Removal, cesarean, tumor removal, intestine blockage removal, amputation and the list goes on. Approximately he invented 300 surgeries. Imagine some 2600 years ago, this man invented his own tools, analyzed the body anatomy by himself, learned the art of... Which is why a lot of these are extraordinary claims and they don't have evidence doing surgery and taught them to hundreds of people. Medical communities all around the world recognize him as a father of surgery. His time period 600 BCE is considered the golden age of surgery. His statue is being installed in the Australian College of Surgeons. But how many of our kids are being taught about him? Yep, that's it. So uh, that's my take on what she had to say. I think it's a hugely exaggerated claim to say that Shushita did a lot of visceral organ surgeries back then. This seems to be one of those uh, Hindu uh, right-wing Hindu supremacy channels that seem to have this extreme inferiority complex because of which they have to say that no actually we were great even back then. This is the stuff we did and when people do that there is a lot of exaggeration that tends to sneak into what they say. Maybe the first few people were lying, but those lies have been carried forward by a lot more people and she could be one of them. All right, folks, it's the next day. That's why the change of shirt. I just thought I should add one more clip to this whole thing. I say that a lot of things being said in this video are uh, extraordinary claims made with no evidence. The reason is, if we were to believe all her claims are true, then someone who was uh, so proficient at surgeries, did so many exquisite, <laughs> exotic surgeries back then, so many thousands of years ago, also had this to say in his book. Now, Shushita Samhita is not only a compendium of surgeries, it's also a compendium of medicine. And look at the ingredients in some of those medicines. And the things they, the claims they made about uh, the urine, of a lot of animals. Goat's urine cures cough dyspnea. I don't know what that is. But look at look at all this. This was a post made by the user traditional cat on my Reddit. This was the state of medicine at a time when a lot of people are claiming surgery was so advanced. I will give it to them that it's very possible they uh, there was a person back then who was an expert at. Uh, surface level superficial surgeries of the skin and drafting and all these techniques but to claim that complex brain surgeries and visceral organ surgeries were done by this person is an extraordinary claim with no evidence i'll see you in the next one